feel like the defense has come together so far? I feel like we come together uh, really closely. You know, uh, we've just been trying to do the little things, and, you know, the little things really what um, changes the game. And um, you try to make the um, big plays, but also, you know, you just got to make the routine plays, and that's one thing we've just been working on. Yeah, and, and on offense, uh, I think you got one carry maybe over the mm -hmm. weekend. Uh, were, were you – how do you feel, I guess, on those fourth and shorts where they don't call your number? It feels like it's pretty successful when you get the ball. Um, I mean, we got we trust everybody in here. Um, we all here, here for a reason. And I know um, we just like to do a lot of hurry up tempo. And that's something that we're known for. So, I mean, I wasn't mad or anything like that. I believed that we were going to get the first down. But, you know, the outcome wasn't that. But um, still, I believe that we were going to get it. I'm curious, JJ, what does a practice look like for you in terms of trying to squeeze in some reps with the running back room? How, how much are you over there doing that? It's kind of like a, a side quest or something. I don't know. Um, I mean, they, they do a really good job of just um, having me go on both fields. But um, I still mainly focus on the defensive side. I just um, maybe come in like after meetings and just um, do uh, extra film and extra study. Um, and do extra walkthroughs with running backs or something like that. But it's really not like a big toll on me just because um, I, I did it in high school, I did it at Auburn. So it's just something that I'm blessed to be able to do. So it's really not a big toll on me. JJ, as, as <clears throat> one of the leaders on, on this team, what, is, what does the next week look like for you in trying to sort of rally the troops? Just to um, get better, you know, uh, it was a tough loss and I give my kudos to LSU. It's hard to go on a Dove Valley and win. And um, our expectation was to win no matter what. And, um, you know, we really just got to look at um, look yourself in the mirror and um, just critique yourself. You know, if you are you giving your um, all to the team and are you um, just doing the small things? And uh, for me, it looks like just going back to the basics, the fundamentals and um, just being able to, you know, see – see my um, keys and see when it's passed or see when it's run and just get back to um, those little fundamental um, things because at the end of the day, the little things does matter. And if we make more big contestant plays, I mean, uh, we'll come out victorious. Going off of that, you know, being back in the building today, where do you sense this team is at mentally after that loss? Um, you can, you can um, feel that um, – Life's going to life like we lost. But um, at the end of the day, I feel like Coach Kiffin came up here and did a great job of just letting us know that we still control our destination. And us losing, yes, you're going to um, feel it, but you can't just dwell in it, you know, because at the end of the day, we do have more games to play. And we still want to leave a mark here that no one else has left. So um, I just feel like we just keep going, keep putting our head down and just work harder, you know. And like I, I keep on saying the little things, but – the little things are big for us, and that's something we harp on a lot. So we just want to emphasize that and um, just do those things. Lane just came back in here and added that I guess somebody talked with him yesterday that's been around here for a while, that to make it a positive that the fan base was so extremely upset after that mm -hmm. loss and that it used to not be like this, that it was more of like a all shucks, we played them close, almost won at Tiger Stadium attitude. Mm -hmm. For somebody who's grown up and kind of now been a part of is expectations changing? How, how do you kind of view the shift that's come here? Yeah, like the same as Lane said, you know, like we came in to beat uh, LSU at Dow Valley. And how our fans felt like, I mean, the same way we felt, you know. Uh, we felt like we were supposed to go in and handle our business and leave with a win. But, you know, things just went the other way. And like I said, I give kudos to LSU for um, playing hard and doing what they did. They got great players over there, great coaches. But... At the end of the day, we control what we can control, and our outcome, our outcome we wanted was a win. And you know, um, you just have those thoughts in your head of, oh, this play, that play, or that crucial play. But it was all the little things that maybe the fans didn't see, but we we knew, you know. And that's something that why I came back is to change um, the way our fans think. Like maybe back then they. I knew we were going to go into Delta Valley and lose, but they just wanted to go just to go because it was um, Baton Rouge. But, you know, I just – I'm grateful that um, I am back here and we have changed the way that people think about Ole Miss. Any more questions? Okay. Thank you all. Yeah.